be before you long, just very brief. Um, just want to uh, thank the Most High for allowing me to be here again. Excuse me, I was at the bank getting my tithes. I do pay tithes. Appreciate you. Um, but we'll get started real quick, uh, so I'm be before you long. Give me the book of uh, Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 12. Holden Bible was thinking I'm trying to take over the country last night, do you? Good. I'm not, I mean, I'm a little wild, but I ain't, I ain't crazy. Habakkuk. But regardless if I take it over or not, they got something coming to them. I don't have to take them over for them to get their just reward. Matter of fact, other brother, give me, a, give me the book of uh, Uyakra, chapter 19. And verse, give me about verse 28. We'll start there. Ooh. Mm, that's not ooh. That's the symbol, but it's not ooh. Uyakra, Uyakra. What did I say? 19, about 28, yeah. But make no mistake, everybody, everybody that does wrong got something coming to them, whether you're a person or whether you're a country, whether you're a kingdom, whether you're a nation. No matter what, you got something coming to you when you do wrong. And this, and this country definitely got something going, definitely got something coming to them. And I'm glad about it, because this country has done far too much damage Far too much, cause far too much problems. Everywhere they go, they cause problems. I mean, if, if you look at it, if you look at it, people say, oh, you know, we're going we're gonna to send our troops home. What place did America ever go to? What war did they ever start that, that, that they left? Korean War, got a base in Korea. Iraq, they got a base in Iraq. Japan, they got a base in Japan. So they talk about leaving. They talk about, oh, we're going to pull our troops out. We're going to leave. They've never left anywhere. They, it's all lies, and yet people believe in people. People just soak up this 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 nation, this this people, you know, that run this nation like 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 they're just like like they're just the, the grandest people on, on planet Earth. Like this country is the best country on Earth, but it's not. It's one of the, it's one of the most wicked ones, because they they pay homage to, to Rome, and Rome, pay, Rome pays homage to, to Egypt. So in essence, everybody paying homage to Egypt, but they got coming to them. Everybody does. So give me, uh, give me that uh, Habakkuk 2 and 12. Matter of fact, give me 2 and 11 first. 2 and 11. For the stone shall cry out of the wall, and the beam out of the timber shall answer it. Mm -hmm. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood, and establisheth a city by iniquity. Uh -huh. Behold, is, not, is it not of Yahuwah of hosts, that the people shall labor in the very fire, and the people shall weary themselves for very vanity. And, and, and what do you think people are doing here? People are wearing themselves for, for what? Very vanity. Vanity. It's all for nothing. I mean, you, you get up, you go to work, slave for nothing, for vanity. All because, you, all because we see advertisements on the TV, and it, and it, 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 it influences us to want to wanna go achieve these things. But in reality, all this stuff means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. It, you can't take it with you. You can't, I mean, you ain't really going to be able to enjoy it once you get old. It, it's all for nothing. We work and we slave for nothing. I mean, yeah, we could put up for our family and friends, but eventually this whole earth is going to burn up if we believe the book. This whole earth is going to burn with fervent heat. So, I mean, I, and I've been guilty of that, working and running and going and pushing it and yet forgetting, the, you know, the real deal. Forgetting what, what, what's, the, what's the most important thing. And that's, and that's something that we all got to focus on. We got to refocus if we haven't been focused on it. So, I mean, if you're going to slave, slave for the right reason. Put the time in for the right reason. Don't slave for nothing. It's something that's going to that's gonna eventually pass away. And it will barely pass away. But we, when, we look at this, when we look at this nation, this nation was built off blood. It was built off iniquity. And ain't nothing going to come to it? What's the first, what's the first, the first word in that, in that verse? Whoa. Whoa. Now we know woe is destruction. So people actually think there ain't nothing going to come to this country. Ain't nothing going to come to these people that, that do this stuff, and yet we still hold to it. We still, we, we're still in love with it, and we're still, loving the, we're still in love with the people that are in love with it. So when it comes time to separate, how are you going to separate? You have too many emotional attachments. And that's one thing I'm glad I never really had is emotional attachments to you know, people and places and things, you know, except to myself, but that's 
course, even that has to get torn down. But uh, give me, the, give me uh, Buyakra 19 and 28. We look at, no, no matter what region you look at, West Coast, East Coast, Dirty South, Midwest, however, however you, whatever your allegiance is or, what, or whatever it was, every, every, last, every last inch of this, of this place is wicked. West Coast is wicked. East Coast is wicked. Dirty South is wicked. All of it's wicked. All of it's wicked. <laughs> Peach State is gay state. Good. Uh, but, but the thing about it is, so is California. <laughs> so is New York. I mean, Utah is actually the, the, the gay capital of America now. But, that, but a lot of that's kept quiet because that's, that's, where, a lot of, that's where a lot of white folks are. So they don't, want, they, don't want, they don't want that to be known. But it actually, Utah, is actually, Salt Lake City is actually the, the, the gayest city in America. People still think it's San Francisco. Nope, they pass them. Those Mormons are homosexual. They love each other, especially the men. But, but, but give me that, uh, <laughs> give me that, uh, that Uyakra. Uyakra chapter 19 and verse, uh, verse 28. What's that say? What's the law say? You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, uh -huh. nor print any marks upon you. I am Yahuwah. Uh -huh. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall to whoredom and the land become full of wickedness. Which is happening as we, as we, as we, as we speak. I mean, you got, you, you got grown women, grown mothers, trying to, trying to dress up as, 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 as little girls, and, they, and, they, and they're trying to dress up their, their little girls as grown women. Just foolishness. I mean, it's like, okay, once you, once you reach a certain age, it's, it's about time to turn it off. You ain't, you ain't got it no more. Just, just, just turn it. So, I mean, you, you, got, you got 50, you got 45, 50-year-old women still trying to walk around with miniskirts. Yeah. What are you trying to accomplish? Yeah. Take your old cougar behind somewhere else and, 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 go, and go to a nursing home somewhere. I mean, it, it, you ain't got it no more after that point. Stuff starts sagging, and it, it ain't feel the same. Stuff ain't tight as it used to be. It's, it's just a bunch of mess. <laughs> so I mean, any any cougars watching? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and put that long dress on, put that put that long skirt on, cover your head, you know, cover up your blouse and keep it moving, keep it moving, because you ain't got nothing to look at anyway. But uh, keep going. <laughs> you shall keep my. I, I haven't had much to eat today. I'm, I'm tired. So just go ahead, bear with me. <laughs> you shall bear keep with my shabbats. Give you Snickers. <laughs> go ahead and reverence my sanctuary. Uh huh. I am Yahuwah. Regard not them that have familiar spirits, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. neither seek after any wizards to be defiled by them. And how many of these so-called preachers got familiar spirits? A lot of them do. A lot of them do. That's why they can, can so-called prophesy the way they can. A lot of them do. But one, one, one thing about when you, when you mess around with that realm, with that world, it's only a matter of time before your, your world comes crashing down. It's only a matter of time. You can't put your heart and in, in, in trust in those, in those, in that world, in that realm, and actually think that that's that that's actually going to last. It's not going to last. It's not going to last. That's why all these singers and, act, and and actors and all these Hollywood people, they they don't have longevity with their stuff. Eventually, that little spirit fails them. That little that little demonic spirit fails them. They either they, they their career ends up falling apart or they end up dying, which is which is the, which they're all bound to do. But even even these so-called these, these so-called prophets, that spirit is going to fail them because it's, it's not enduring. It's, it's not a continual spirit. It's, it's, not, it's not a continual ruach. So w w what else is it going to do? It's going to fail. But yet they put so much heart, they, much, they put so much, so much trust in that, and it's going to fail them. It's, gonna, it's, 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 it's failed a lot of them already, and it's going to fail the rest of them. But you've got people that sit in these, in these congregations, in these churches, and they put their trust in these people with these familiar spirits. But he said, matter of fact, not just them, but all these little houses around here where they got mother so-and-so or sister so-and-so, palm reader and all that stupid crap, I mean, it's, it's all over the place. I'll give you a discount, read your palm. I, I really feel like blowing some of these places up, but that's the white part talking. So, I mean, <laughs> but, but, you know, really, really, you weren't even, we, we as a people weren't even, weren't even allowed or, or we weren't even supposed to suffer which to live. We really weren't, but yet, but yet and still nowadays, People flocking to them. Even that, even that, that actress, Sanaya Lathan, like, uh, they said that she had like five different soothsayers she goes to, five different palm readers. Like they actually had a, a, a they played a trick on her on that show Punked, where they, where they, they, they had some, some, some happened to her, but, but they said she had like five different familiar spirits that she goes to, or five different little women, or five, five different people. Yet still, people love these people. They watch these people, they support these people. 
It's not just her, it's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, still, they love them. She's the finest one out there, but she ain't. She's she one of the best actors, but she's not. But it's not just her, it's a whole bunch of them. Yet still, people love this stuff. You gotta understand how dangerous that is when you love somebody that's, that, that's seeking after these people. Because we weren't supposed to seek after them. Right. But keep going. I am Yahuwah, your Allahim. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt rise up before the hoary head, and out of the face of the old man, and fear thy Allahim, I am Yahuwah. And if a stranger sojourn with thee in your land, ye shall not vex him. Mm -hmm. but, the stranger sh but the stranger that dwelleth with you shall be unto you as one born among you. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt love him as thyself, for ye were strangers in the land of Mitzrayim. Mm -hmm. And I am Yahuwah, I am Yahuwah, your Elohim. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment, in meat yard, in weight, or in measure. Mm -hmm. Just balances, just weights, a just ephah, and a just ten shall ye have. I am Yahuwah, your Elohim. Now, how much of this have we broken? I mean, when you, when, you read down between, when you read down through the law and actually consider how much of it have, you, have, have we, myself included, how much of it have we broken as a people? I mean, yeah, and I talked about yesterday, yeah, I want to leave this country. I do, I do want to leave this country badly. I do want to get away from this prison. But as I said before, like yesterday, we deserve to be here. Every last one of us that have committed sin and, 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 who, and our forefathers, it's rightfully so. Rightfully so. I mean, if you commit a crime, you deserve to be locked up. We've all committed crimes. We deserve to be locked up. As bad as I want to leave this stinking place, I understand, I mean, I had to pay the cost. We got to pay the cost. That's why we're still here. But most high be, most high be, be gracious to bring us toward, you know, getting out of here eventually. But um, give me the book of uh, Masha Lee, Masha Lee 1434. Because there's, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of bad things, bad things with these countries, these kingdoms, these people. I could care less about any of them. Masha Lee, 14 and 34, and other brother, get me, uh, I believe that's uh, Tahalim, 69 and 6. Mashali. Fourteen thirty four. Tahalim. Sixty nine and six. What does Tahalim fourteen and thirty four say? Marshali. I'm sorry, yeah, Marshali. Mashali. Righteousness exalted a nation. But sin is a reproach to any people. So we look at it's the righteousness that exalts the nation. So we look at we want to rise up as a nation. What do we got to be? Righteous. We got to be righteous. We got to be Sadiq. We have to be. We look at how long, when is it going to be our time? When is it going, when is it going to be our time for the, for the, for the, for the Yahudim to finally, to finally push forward? When is it going to be the time of, of the Abarim to push forward? We got to be righteous. We got to be Sadiq. Until that, day, until that day happens, we're always going to be abased. These folks are always going to keep running over us because we're still unrighteous. We're not righteous. And that's why we still get trampled over. And, it's, and this, it, no, no matter how much I hate to see it, no matter how much I hate to see people, our people get gunned down and, and, and just get slapped up and people start disappearing and then the police shooting girls and, and, and just beating them up and shooting brothers and, and just beating them up. I mean, as much as I hate it and I want to do something about it, I mean, hey, we're not righteous. Truth be told, we're not righteous. So we deserve it because we were his people and we turned from him. So what, I mean, how, like, what else do we expect? What other outcome do you expect when you're unrighteous? Because he said righteousness, Sadiq, exalts us a nation. So if we want to rise up, we got to be righteous. If we want to take these chains off, we got to be righteous. That's right. But sin is a reproach to any people. But give me that, uh, that, uh, that Tahalim 69. And so anybody wondering why we haven't rose up yet? Because we're still unrighteous as a people. Not just the people in this room as far as, oh, well, it's just us. No, it's just bigger than us. It's the, it's the Abarim. It's the Yahudim as a whole. As a people, as a nation, we are still unrighteous. That's why, that's why we can't go nowhere. That's why we can't raise up. But uh, Tahalim 696, what's that say? Let not them that wait on thee 
O Yahuwah, Allahim of hosts, be ashamed for my sake. Let not those that seek thee be confounded for my sake, O Allahim of Yasharal. Mm. Because for thy sake I have borne reproach, shame hath covered my face, I am become a stranger unto my brethren and an alien unto my mother's children. Mm. Now give me uh, Romans six, Romans 15 and 3. Romans 15 and 3. So we know, we know what... We know what righteousness does to a nation. We know what sin is. We know what sin is to a nation. It's a reproach. But when we look at reproach, we got to look at, okay, somebody, somebody born reproach. Somebody carried reproach for us. So if you're not following him, if you're not with him, how is your reproach taken away? You still have it. You still have your, your reproach. You still have your, 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 uh, your punishment coming to you. But that Romans 15 and 3, what, what does that say? For even the Mashiach pleased not himself, mm -hmm. but as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproach thee fell on me. Mm -hmm. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. So we look at the reproaches of them that reproach thee fell on me. I bore your burden. I carried it. We talk about, you know, sin is reproach to any nation, uh, or righteousness is all a nation, and sin is reproach to any people. Well, I took your reproach. But if you're not with me, if you don't believe in me, then how then 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 how is your reproach taken away? How how is your you you still you you're still in your sins? You're still in your sins if 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 your sins haven't been washed away. So you still have your reproach. If if you don't believe in Yahusha, if you if you if you don't follow if you don't follow his path and, and, and walk his steps, you still have your reproach. You ain't covered, you ain't free. You still got your reproach. You still got your shame. It still covered. It still covers you. Your shame still covers you. Your reproach still covers you. But, don't, but, but the only way to get a, to, to get out of that, you have to believe on him. You have, you, have to, you have to believe on him. You have to believe on Yahushua, because he's the one that he's the one that took your reproach away. Give me the uh, give me the um, the book of uh, Kaf, Kaf Alaf, two and two and twenty one. Off, off to 21. And then other brother, give me a, uh, give me the book of Dan, Dan E. All. Dan E. All. 9 and 26. I mean, because there's a way out. If anybody wants a way out of reproach, there's a way out. Whether in here or watching, there's a way out. But there's some things you got to do to get out of it. There's a belief that you have to have to get out of it. Did I forget to write anything up here? Romans. I'm going back in time. That's right. Kaf. Kaf Allah. Go ahead with that, uh, go ahead with that, uh, Kaf Allah. Verse 21? Yeah. For even here unto were ye called, because the Mashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example, that ye should follow his steps, uh -huh. who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. So he did no sin. He didn't have reproach. He didn't have it. We did. So, like, when we look at it, when we look at it, what, what, right, do we, what right do we have to, to, to live you know, unsadiq, and still and still believe that we're actually going to be taken up with him. To believe to, to believe that we're going to get out of the reproach that's going to come on this land, and everybody who who is a part of it, and not just this land, but all lands that commit sin. So we actually believe that we're going to get out of it when he was the only one that wasn't guilty of it, and we still won't believe in him. We still won't put our trust in him and walk in his ways and seek his paths. We still won't believe in him as the scriptures say. 
Because it, it, all, it all lines up to him. It all comes, it all, it all, uh, it, it all, what I'm trying, the word I'm trying to think of, it all uh, correlates to him. It all correlates back to him. And yet, if we don't walk in his ways, and, and, and as he left the example for us, how can we expect anything different? The outcome to be different. So when the reproach comes on this land, for all the stuff that it's done, leaving people hanging all night, which, which, which was going to cause the land to be a curse, this stuff still got stuff. They, they, got, they got a lot of stuff coming to them. They really do. And people, don't, people aren't really considering that. Just, just, just because, you know, and, and the cold thing about it, they're still doing it. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff they don't get put on, you know, put in the news, yeah. you know, publicized. They're still doing it. It's yeah. a lot of stuff still going on people don't know about. So not, on, not only do they got to pay for the, for, the, for the sins of the past, they got to they gotta pay for the sins of the future. All, all, those, all, those, all those different towns that they tore up, was it uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma? You know them folks was, was bombing them? Those white folks were flying in planes bombing them folks. And they talk about terrorism. They had the, right, they had the nerve to talk about terrorism when they were the first terrorists. They've been terrorizing, they've been terrorizing people ever since, this, ever since this country was founded. And they think they don't have nothing coming back to them. Not just them, but everybody that does wrong. Because that's, that's, that's just them. But we got to come to us first. It's, it's coming, to the, it's coming to, the, uh, to the Yehudi first. So if we want to escape this, if, if we want to escape that reproach, we got, to get, we got to get under him. We got to follow him. We got to believe on him as the scriptures say. But what's that, uh, that uh, Danny All 9 and 26 say? Because it said he had no sin. Koff testified he, who, who did no sin. Neither was God found in his mouth. So what he went through, it wasn't for itself. It wasn't for itself. It was for all of us. All of us. All of the stuff that we've done. And some are still doing stuff. But go ahead with that, Daniel. 9 and 26. And after three score and two weeks shall the Mashiach be cut off, but not for himself. But not for himself. That's the key, right? That's the key word right there. He'd be cut off, but not, but not for himself. So when, when we look at what he had to go through, give me that, what's that, uh, that Matad Yahu 27 and 46? Matthew Yahoo. Oh, I think that's. Give me twenty. Give me forty-five. Just to be sure. So we look at all these things, things that are going to befall this country, and the things that are going to befall this people, and all peoples. We gotta look at the one that can save us all. A lot of people really haven't been putting their trust in him, unfortunately. We really haven't. Not, not as much as we should. But what's that uh, Matthew Yahoo 27, 46 say? Or make it 45? Now from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. Mm -hmm. And about the ninth hour, Yahushua cried with a loud voice, saying, Al Yahu, Al Yahu, Lama Sabatani. That is to say, my Allahim, my Allahim, why hast thou forsaken me? Some of them that stood there, when they heard that, said, This man calleth for all Yahu. And straightway one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink. The rest said, Let be, let us see whether all Yahu will come to save him. Yahusha, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the Ruach. So he looked at, Why have you, why have you forsaken me? Why have you left me? Because we look at it said, thou shalt never, leave, thou shalt never uh, leave me nor forsake me. But why did he leave him? He left him, he left him because of us. Because sin is a reproach to any people, but, but he, became, he became our reproach. He took it for us. And yet, we, 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 we all act like, you know, everything is all good and we can still be casual. Can't be casual. Because if, if, that's the only, if, that's, if, if, the, if that's the only way our reproach can be taken away, then it'd be, it'd be needful that we do what he said, that we follow his, that we follow his, his steps 
and follow the pattern that was left. Because if not, your sin remains. If not, your reproach remains. Your shame remains. That's the only way to get out of it. That's the only way. I mean, we can, we can, we can play games all we want. We can lie to ourselves all we want. But just rest assured, the only way to get out of it is through Yahushua. Yah's salvation. That's the only way to get out of it. So if you want to, if, if you want to know how, you, how, your, how your sins going how your sins and your shame and your and your uh, your uh, your reproach is gonna be taken away, it's gotta be through Him. You can't be through yourself. Not your own righteousness. It's gotta be. It's gotta be through Him. I know I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take too much more time, um, but I just wanted to pretty much make that make that point, make that statement. That is a, is a lot of stuff that's, that's going to be coming down on this plate, a lot of stuff that's going to be coming down on these people. But for us, we, we know how our, how our approach is going to be covered, how it's going to be taken away. And that's why we've got to stick with Yahushua. Because if we leave him, then we're exposed. And in that, in that day of judgment, ain't, ain't nothing gonna be, ain't not, there's nothing that's going to cover us. But I appreciate the time. I appreciate you guys' attention. And uh, thank the Most High. Amen. Amen.